Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have seen the device physics of diode, like PN junction and everything we have seen. And based on that, we got this characteristics between ID and VD, right? Now what we will do, we will use this diode in the circuit. We will connect a register, we will connect a voltage source, then we will see how much current is flowing through the diode. Then we will see different kind of circuitry. So basically, now this diode, we are having this diode, now we will use this in circuitry, okay? And this is the IV characteristic of diode. Now based on this IV characteristic, tell me few things about the diode. Is it linear or non-linear? What is linear device? Linear device, IV characteristic, straight line passing through origin. In network analysis, we have seen this, right? So is it straight line passing through the origin? No, it's not. So this is a non-linear device. Tell me, is it unilateral or bilateral? Is it unilateral or bilateral? What is bilateral? In this direction, in this direction, in both of the direction, it should pro provide the same impedance and same kind of current, like in resistor, 1 ampere, and here also it will be minus 1 ampere, right? But in diode, different current here, different current here. This is forward current. What is what is reverse direction current? That is reverse saturation current only. That is IS only, right? This was forward. This was reverse. This was reverse, this was forward. So it's not providing the same amount of current in both of the direction. That means it is not providing the same amount of resistance in both of the direction. And in case of bilateral element, what happens? It is symmetric around the origin. Like if you put a mirror in like this, if you put a mirror like this, it should have the symmetry. At this side and at this side, you should have the same graph. But this is not you are getting here, right? So this is not a by bilateral device this is a unilateral device because it allows the flow of current in one particular direction only in the other direction it provides a different amount of current okay so two things we can say non-linear and unilateral okay now this is the iv characteristic of diode now if you use this in circuitry it will be very tough to solve this non-linear equations right this is non-linear equation exponential equation so it is very tough to solve like that so to make the problem easy we get some models of diode like ideal diode piecewise linear model or constant voltage drop model okay so we will study about these models then we will solve the problems before that how the diode turns on so first time considering ideal diode what is ideal diode we will study that so just consider it as a ideal diode don't think about it okay so when will diode turn on when the potential of p should be greater than potential of n we studied that in forward bias diode in forward bias, the diode turns on. In reverse bias, the diode turns off. So what is forward diode? What is forward bias when the potential of P is greater than potential of N? So for diode to turn on, potential of P should be greater than potential of N. Or what you can say, potential of P From P, I mean P terminal, like this is diode. And what is P? What is N? This is P, this is N. Potential of P minus potential of N should be greater than 0. Right? Just put it here. Okay. Now tell me if this diode is on or off. This is a question. If this diode, diode, diode is on or off, potential of P is 5, potential of N is 3. It is greater than this is greater than this so this is on right or what you can do you can subtract these two 5 minus 3 that is 2 that means it is on only okay now tell about the other one potential of n is greater than potential potential of p so this is O. tell about this one potential of p is greater than potential of n potential of n is at minus 2 and it is at plus 3 right so it is on tell about this one potential of p is minus 1 potential of n is minus 3 what you are getting 2 which is greater than 0 that means minus 1 is greater than minus 3 that means potential at p is still greater so it will be on only right not off right now tell about this one minus 2 is greater than minus 1 no minus 2 is less than minus 1 right minus 2 is less than minus 1 or what you can do you can just simply do this minus 2 minus of minus 1 subtract the n potential 
from p potential okay so minus 2 is lesser so it will be o okay now let's study the first model that is ideal diode okay so this we consider as a ideal diode only when the vd potential that means this potential potential of p minus potential of n when vd is greater than 0 at that time diode will turn on and how will you replace this simply by short circuit okay when the diode is on you will simply replace it with short circuit and when vd is less than 0 that means you will replace it with open circuit that means it will not drive any current okay what it will do it will drive id current what it will do it will pro drive id equals to zero current so how will the graph look like tell me for vd less than zero id will be zero only for vd less than zero id will be zero for vd less than zero id will be zero now just as vd goes to just as vd gets greater than zero let's assume vd is zero plus vd is zero plus vd value is something above zero at that time diode will turn on at that time diode will turn on and what will it give you a short circuit path that means vd value cannot be greater than zero are you getting my point let's just assume this is a circuit okay and this is five volt here okay and this is your vd just as you see that here i am having five that means it will turn on now it turns on that means it will give you a short circuit path right so vd value is fixed at zero volt and now it can now id can have any current right so id can have any current do you understand this graph let us assume i make the graph like this vd here and id here okay so for vd less than zero id is zero for vd less than zero id is zero okay and for vd greater than zero id can have any value so vd is fixed at zero vd is fixed at zero but id can have any value 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 4 ampere 5 ampere 6 ampere 7 ampere so this doesn't mean that id will have infinity value like if i am making the graph like this this doesn't mean this value will be infinity y axis will be infinity no 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 y can have any value it can have 1 ampere it can have 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 4 ampere 5 ampere it can have any value okay so this is the graph for vd less than 0 no current when you try to make vd greater than 0 it will be just sorted and it will give you vd equals to 0 only and i can have any value so this is how the graph will look like are you getting this point many of the students fails to understand this graph okay they just mug it up okay for vd less than 0 this is the current for vd greater than 0 current is infinite no current is not infinity current can have any value it can have this value this value this value this value this value are you getting this point or not i hope you are getting this point and vd value can never be above zero volt in case of ideal diode then there is this diode piece wise linear model okay so in this model when vd is greater than zero sorry when it turns on and when it turns off so when it turns on how it would look like when the diode turns on it would look like a simple battery with the r on resistance we call this as v gamma okay this battery is v gamma how will you make this battery from p to n side this is p side and this is n side so p will be positive one and l will be so diode is simply replaced with the battery of v gamma and r on resistance and when it is off it will simply be open circuited okay now tell me in this case in this case what is the condition of turning on what was the condition of turning on vd greater than zero in this case what is the condition of turning on vd greater than v gamma okay and in this case what is the condition of turning it off vd less than v gamma when we take example it will be more clear to you now this is the this is piece wise linear model okay i can write it like this this is piece wise linear model of diode you can replace the diode with something like this R on V gamma now this diode is an ideal diode are you getting my point if you have understood tell me did you understand this how did I replace this 
there is this diode what i did if it is now if this diode is on what will happen if diode is on this will be replaced with a this is ideal diode what i did in this diode i am having an ideal diode plus this battery and own resistance if the diode is on if ideal diode is on what will happen it will be replaced with a short circuit and simply battery is there and r1 will be there so this is what you are getting right this is your vd so this is what you are getting here this is your vd simply what i did i took out the battery and the resistance from diode and replaced the diode with the ideal diode and if diode is off what will happen to this diode ideal diode it will simply be open circuited and if it is open circuited there is no meaning of this battery and resistance because there will be no current through this battery and resistance so simply we can replace with a complete open circuit only and this is what happens when vd is less than zero when diode is off are you getting my point did you understand it or not i just replaced the piece wise linear model with a ideal diode and a battery and a resistance in series so when diode is on this diode this ideal diode will be simply a short circuit line so this is what we will get and when this diode is off this will be simply an open circuit line and this is what we will get got my point now tell me how will the graph look like what did i say for vd less than v gamma your current will be zero only so let's just assume this is your v gamma v gamma will be some positive value only right it can't be less than zero now for vd less than v gamma id will be zero after that what happens after that when vd is greater than zero you replace this with your you replace your diode with this thing okay it has a certain v gamma value and a current id did you get my point if you didn't understand let me do something so what i am doing i am taking this model this is my v gamma this is my r own and this is my v gamma and this is my vd and what will be my id my id will be this this will be my id so what will be the equation of my id let's just assume this potential is at zero okay so zero and this potential will be vd vd minus v gamma by r own is equal to id vd minus v gamma by r own is equal to id are you getting this point when vd is equal to v gamma vd minus v gamma is equal to vd minus v gamma upon r own is equal to id when vd is equal to v gamma your id is zero and after that this slope what will this slope give will give me 1 by r own why 1 by r own because this is id by vd id by vd id by vd will give me 1 by r own right are you getting this point so simply what you need to remember when vd is greater than 0 you just replace the diode with the battery and r own when vd is greater than v gamma you just replace the diode with the battery and r own and when vd is less than v gamma you replace the diode with the simple open circuit this is how the graph will look like here you can confirm right y equals to mx plus c what is y this is y so from here sorry y is this id is the y yeah id is the y y axis and vd is the x axis so id is equals to m m is 1 by r own the slope is 1 by r own and what is c c is minus v gamma that means this is minus v gamma okay sorry what is c c is here minus v gamma by r own minus v gamma by r own that means c is this point c is this point this point is c y equals to mx plus c i am graphing y equals to mx plus c so c will be this point okay or just put the values in this point and this point will be minus v gamma by r own minus v gamma by r own okay y equals to by y equals to mx plus c so there is this finite slope because it has some resistance okay when we will take the example it will be more clear to you now this is the constant voltage drop model this is the same just r1 will be zero this model is the same just r1 will be zero okay so this when vd is greater than v gamma 
when vd is greater than v gamma it will simply be replaced with a single battery that's it r1 will be zero here and when vd is less than v gamma it will be open circuited okay so it will have some current id it will have id equals to zero now i want you to draw the graph on your own what i will do i can replace this with the ideal diode and a battery in series the value of battery is v gamma and this is your vd right let's just assume if poten this potential is zero this potential will be v gamma and this potential will be vd right this potential will be vd this potential will be v gamma so you need vd greater than v gamma to turn this ideal diode on right in case of ideal diode what is the condition potential of n side should be greater than, potential of p side should be greater than potential of n side so what is the potential at p side that is vd what is the potential at n side that is v gamma so vd should be greater than v gamma so by this model also you can verify this are you getting my point i consider this point to be zero this point would be v gamma and now this point would be vd right this point would be vd so vd should be greater than v gamma to turn this diode on so if i turn this diode on simply this will be shorted and rest v gamma will come here okay and if i turn turn this diode off that means it will be open circuited so there is no point of this battery so it will simply be open circuited are you getting my point so how will you make the graph for vd less than v gamma for vd less than v gamma the current is zero for vd less than v gamma the current is zero okay for vd greater than v gamma for vd greater than v, v gamma what happens now this vd cannot be greater than v gamma in this case vd can be greater than v gamma in this case vd in this case in this case vd can be better uh, greater than v gamma because what is vd here here vd is here your vd is v gamma plus id r on right this is your vd here v gamma plus id r on v gamma plus id r on so vd can increase with the increase in id vd can increase now vd is fixed at v gamma here vd is fixed now id can have any value so this is the graph this is how the graph will go what is r on here resistance is zero that means this slope is infinity and this slope looks like infinity del id by del vd that is infinity only right so are you getting my point your diode will be replaced with a single battery that is v gamma and id can have any value it can have 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 4 ampere it can have any value okay so this is the analysis okay so these are the three models now based on these models we will solve some problem but how to solve the problem before that you need to see two points that is short circuit test and open circuit test all the doubts that you are having everything will be cleared when we solve the problems okay so how do you solve diode circuit there are two method short circuit test, test and open circuit test very very easy method okay in short circuit test what do you do let's just take something some here this is diode and this is a resistance this is a battery okay this is a 5 volt battery and this is a resistor what do you do first you will consider the diode to be on so now you can short circuit it or replace with this equ equivalent model if this diode is ideal what you will do you will short circuit this if diode if this diode is piecewise linear what you will do you will replace this with like this and if this diode is constant voltage drop model then what you, you will do you will simply replace it with this now you will do this let us assume is this diode is ideal i will replace this with the short circuit okay now find the current in the diode what is the current in the diode that is 5 by r okay the current in the diode is 5 by r so the current is 5 by r actually there is a background noise i guess uh, just uh, a bit little bit of noise can be there okay yeah so the current is 5 by r so what is the direction of current that is from p to n if the current is flowing from p to n that means your assumption was correct that the diode is on if this was minus 5 instead of instead of 5 it was minus 5 so what would be the current value that would have been 5 by r but the direction would have been this that means you first consider it to be on but the assumption is wrong because the diode is off here because the current is flowing from n to p and that's not possible so this is not possible so 
the diode will be open circuited so this is short circuit test okay and the other one is the open circuit test but we will see that later on let's solve some problems okay you have to find the current i when the diode is ideal when diode is ideal what will happen first is the diode is ideal the diode is ideal diode is ideal if diode is ideal what is the thing if it if it turns on it will be replaced with short circuit if it turns off it will be replaced with open circuit okay so let's just apply short circuit test what you will do short circuit test i am applying what you will do you will replace the diode with simple open circuit uh, simple short circuit because you are considering it to be on okay this is 5 this is 5 ohm that means there is one ampere current that means in the diode one ampere current is flowing like this right that means it is on okay so what is the value of i here it is on that means value of i is 1 ampere okay let's take second case diode has constant v gamma v gamma equals to 1 volt we call it cut in voltage okay cut in voltage in theory also it can be written sometimes so it is known as cut in voltage cut in voltage okay cut in voltage so so now how will i replace this second one is v gamma equals to 1 volt so now i will not replace it with short circuit okay i will replace it with replace it with its equivalent model that is at p side plus and at uh, and at n side minus that is 1 volt and the input was 5 volt battery and this is a 5 ohm resistance okay this is a 5 ohm resistance so what will be the current now the current is 5 minus 1 4 by 5 that means 0.8 ampere right so in the diode in the diode 0.8 ampere current is flowing at this side that means diode is on so that means the value of i that you got 0.8 ampere is correct right so this is correct this is also correct now third one third case in third case what is the condition okay one thing i want to tell you that uh, in here also we can write here we can write so For silicon, what is the V gamma, and for germanium, what is the V gamma? For silicon, sometimes they can just write the diode that it is a silicon diode. So you have to assume V gamma there. So that is zero point seven volt. Okay, and for germanium, V gamma is zero point three volt. Okay, so just remember it because sometimes they will not give you the value of V gamma. They will just write that this is a silicon diode, this is a germanium diode. Okay. now third is the diode has v gamma equals to 1 ohm and 1 volt and r o r o is 3 ohm v gamma is equals to 1 volt and r o is 3 ohm okay so i have a battery of 5 volt here how will i replace the diode i will consider that diode to be on okay so if i consider that diode to be on 1 volt battery and 3 ohm resistance right and 5 ohm resistance i am having here so what will be the value of current i so from here current i i get is 5 minus 1 4 by 8 that means 0.5 ampere so that means in diode in diode what is the condition i am having 0.5 ampere current in this direction that means your diode is diode is on that means your i value that was 0.5 ampere current okay so these three are the answers 0.5 ampere current 0.8 ampere current and 1 ampere current what did i do i simply replace i simply considered the diode to be on if i am considering the diode to be on i will replace it with its equivalent model model okay and if i replace it with its equivalent model i got to know that current is flowing from p to n that means the diode is on that's it this is the only thing we have to remember in diode circuit let's see the second question what i will do considering diode d1 and d2 to be ideal find v not okay what i will do 
अप्लाइंग शॉर्ट सर्किट टेस्ट अप्लाइंग शॉर्ट सर्किट टेस्ट ओके so if i am applying short circuit test what i will do i will consider both of the diode to be on this is a 20 volt battery this diode is on this diode is on okay i am having tan ohm resistance here and tan ohm resistance here okay this is tan ohm this is tan ohm and then this diode i, I will also consider to be on okay this was the diode that i considered to be on and i am having a tan ohm resistance here go to my point now find the value of current this 20 volt will come here this 20 volt will come same here and the same 20 volt will come here so this will drive how much current 1 ampere current this will drive 1 ampere current and this will drive this is 20 volt here this will drive 2 ampere current here right so from that means 3 ampere current is coming this side now consider c diode d1 in diode d1 what is the condition in d1 3 ampere current is flowing this side that means this is on in diode d2 what is the condition this is your diode d2 this is your diode d2 what is the current flowing current is flowing like this right so the current flowing 2 ampere so this diode is off because the current cannot flow from n to p right now if someone ask you what is the diode current what is id1 is it 3 ampere no it's not 3 ampere why so because you calculated 3 ampere considering this diode to be on but actually this diode is off so what is your actual circuit this will be open circuited right so my final circuit what is my final circuit diode d1 is on and diode d2 is off okay so if someone ask you what is i d1 you can't say i d1 is 3 ampere okay so here i am having 20 volt battery right 20 volt battery no yeah 20 volt battery diode d1 is on and i am having these resistances tan ohm tan ohm and this was my v not voltage and diode d2 is on oh sorry diode d2 is off and then i am having tan ohm resistance okay so the current here is 0 ampere okay if someone ask you what is the current in this tan ohm resistance that is 0 ampere what is the current in diode d2 that is 0 ampere so i d2 is 0 ampere okay this is the correct answer and what about i d1 what is the current here 20 by 20 that means 1 ampere okay so i d1 is 1 ampere not 3 ampere that was your assumption this was your assumption you were checking if both are on or off you, you consider both to be on then you get to, got to know that this is off then you then you saw here the current here is 1 ampere okay and what about v not v not will be 20 into 1 by 2 that would be 10 volt okay so these things you need to see okay id1 is 1 ampere not 3 ampere okay id2 is 0 ampere so the final diagram the final circuit that you draw from there you will find the, the final values okay you can't fi find your final values here only okay 3 ampere is my correct answer no 3 ampere is not the correct answer because diode d2 is off actually so your final answer would be 1 ampere not 3 ampere got my point let's move on to the next question you have to apply the short circuit test and you need to find the value of v not what i will do applying short circuit test i will consider this diode d1 to be on okay and diode d2 also to be on this is 5 volt and i will also use i will also consider this diode to be on now see one thing here kvl is being violated v not can be 5 volt or 3 volt right this this 5 volt is saying v not will be 5 volt this 3 volt is saying v not will be 3 volt kvl violated 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 uh, i will write kvl invalid okay kvl is invalid here 
सो आई कांट अप्लाई शॉर्ट सर्किट टेस्ट एयर ओके कांट अप्लाई शॉर्ट सर्किट टेस्ट सो वट आई विल डू आई विल अप्लाई ओपन सर्किट टेस्ट एयर सो नाउ वी विल स्टडी वट इज ओपन सर्किट टेस्ट सो वट इज ओपन सर्किट टेस्ट वट यू नीड टू डू इन ओपन सर्किट टेस्ट इन शॉर्ट सर्किट टेस्ट वी कंसिडर डायोड टू बी ओन एंड वेन डायोड वॉज ओन वी रिप्लेस इज इधर विद शॉर्ट सर्किट और विद इट्स इक्वलेंट मॉडल नाउ वेन डायोड इज ऑफ इन ऑल द मॉडल्स वेन डायोड इज ऑफ इट विल ऑलवेज बी ओपन सर्किटेड सी इन कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज ड्रॉप मॉडल वेन डायोड वॉज ऑफ इट वॉज ओपन सर्किटेड इन पीस वॉज लीनियर मॉडल वेन डायोड वॉज ऑफ इट वॉज ओपन सर्किटेड इन आइडियल डायोड वेन डायोड वॉज ऑफ इट वॉज रिप्लेस विद ओपन सर्किट ऑनली ओके सो इन एवरी मॉडल डायोड वुड हैव बीन ओपन सर्किटेड राइट डायोड वुड बी ओपन सर्किटेड इफ इट इज ऑफ सो वी विल कंसिडर डायोड टू बी ऑफ then we will find the potential across the diode and if you and we will check if it is on or off let's just take this example okay and this is 5 volt battery i will consider this diode to be off that means i will replace this diode with the open circuit or i will just replace this diode with the open circuit in my mind okay so replace this with open circuit now from here what is the potential coming 5 volt from here what is the potential coming because there is no current so that means it is 0 volt So what is the potential? At P side I am having five. At N side I am I am I am having zero. That means this diode will be on. Go to my point. So here the diode is on. So this is how I need to check. And when there is more than one diode, what you will do? In case of multiple diodes, okay. So I let's assume I am having more diodes, more than one diodes. Okay. This was my example. Here I am having five volt. Here I am having three volt. Okay. I first I will do. i will consider both of the diode to be open circuited both of the diode to be open circuited so now i will check the potential here there is zero current since this is open circuited so there is zero current so here i am having 5 volt and here i am having 3 volt right here 5 volt here i am having 3 volt so the uh, in case of multiple diode the diode which has the maximum forward voltage drop this has the maximum forward voltage drop no so this will be turned on first now this is turned on now this diode is turned on so that means this will be replaced with short circuit now this is open circuited only this remains open circuited only so here this remains open circuited only so i know one thing oh sorry 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 this potential was 3 volt in this direction actually this potential was 3 volt in this direction okay now this is open this is short circuited only and i have to consider the diode like this okay this like this i have to consider the diode okay so now now what will happen here i am having 5 volt and here i am having 3 volt and the diode is this 5 volt here 3 volt here this will be turned on okay we will take example it will be more clear so this is the way first you will consider all the diode to be open circuit then find the potential which has the more potential the 5 volt was the more potential so first turn it on then based on that find the potential of other devices then see if it will if it will be turned on or turned off then based on that find the potential of other devices and see if it will be turned on or turned off so this process will go on are you getting my point okay so we will see example it will be more clear to you now this is the first example the same example we will solve this example with the we will solve this example with the short circuit with the open circuit test okay so what i am doing i am applying open circuit test so first is the ideal diode what i will do i will replace it. i will see how much potential is coming here since i have replaced it with open circuit that means there is no current here in this resistance so here i am having 5 volt and here i am having 0 volt okay and basically the diode is like this right the diode is like So at P I am having 5 volt at N I am having 0 volt. So that means diode is on. Diode on. That means this is 5 volt. This is 5 ohm resistance. So the current will be I will be equals to 1 ampere. Right? Well and good. Let's move on to the next question. The second one is. Diode has V gamma equals to one volt. Okay, so what I will do? I will replace it with open circuit only. The same thing. Second and third case both I can solve. Third case is 
V gamma. Okay, third case I will solve later on. Forget it. This is the whatever it is. Don't uh, no need to remember. So here basically this is the diode, and uh, I am having five volt here and zero volt here. Okay. So what is the five volt is greater than one volt. That's why it is turned on. It is not turned on because five volt is greater than zero volt. No, this that's in this case it is turned on because five volt is greater than zero volt. Diode is on because five volt is greater than zero volt because this was the ideal model. Now this model has a V gamma of equals to one volt. So if five volt is greater than one volt, that's why the diode is on. Okay, so the diode will be on and it will be replaced with the and when it is on, it will be replaced with a battery of one volt and there is this five ohm resistance so this is 5 volt this is battery of 1 volt and this is 5 ohm resistance so i is 4 by 5 that means 0 0.8 ampere okay let's see that third case i will have to add a page let's see the third case in the third case v gamma is equals to 1 volt and r on is equals to 3 ohm the same thing replaced with the open circuit okay so what is the potential here that is 5 volt what is the potential here that is 0 volt and what was the diode diode was like this so here your 5 volt is greater than 1 volt that's why your diode is on okay and if the diode is on how will you replace it this is 5 volt if diode is on i will replace it with the battery of 1 volt and the r on resistance and this resistance right this is 5 volt this is 1 volt this r on is what is this r on that is i'm sorry r on was 3 ohm and this was 5 ohm so your current i would have been 4 by 8 that means 0 0.5 ampere okay so your i value is 0 0.5 ampere well and good let's move on to the next problem in this problem the same problem is there but the applied battery voltage is 0 0.5 this time okay so applied battery voltage is 0 0.5 this time so what i am doing i am applying open circuit test first condition this is 0 0.5 volt battery replace it with open circuit this is ideal model right ideal ideal diode okay so this is the diode okay now here 0 0.5 is greater than 0 that means diode will be on and if diode is on what will be the current 0 0.5 by 5 right 0 0.5 by 5 that means 0 0.1 ampere let's see the second case when v gamma is equals to 1 volt okay so here my battery is 0 0.5 volt okay i will replace this with open circuit only Now this is the diode. Tell me if you, it will be on or off. Here 0 0.5 is lesser than 1 volt. So diode will be off only. Okay. Even if this is the condition that 0 here I am having 0 0.5 and here I am having 0. The potential of P is greater than potential of N. Still the diode will not be on because it doesn't clear the cut in voltage. What is the cut in voltage? this is the cut-in voltage so it has to clear this cut-in voltage then only it will be on okay so this i will write why it is off because it doesn't clear the cut-in voltage here you are having 0 0.5 and here you are having 0 0.1 but you at least need one volt you at least need one volt so diode will be off and current will be zero ampere and same in the case of third case as well okay 
सेम थिंग विल हैपन इन थर्ड केस एज वेल वेन वी गामा इज इक्व टू वन वोल्ट एंड आर ओन इज इक्व टू थ्री ओन ओके सो अक्रॉस द डायोड यू हैव टू गेट यू हैव टू गेट कट इन वोल्टेज यू हैव टू गेट मोर पोटेंशियल देन द कट इन वोल्टेज ओके अक्रॉस द डायोड यू हैव टू गेट द मोर पोटेंशियल देन द कट इन वोल्टेज कट इन वोल्टेज इज वन वोल्ट बट द पोटेंशियल दैट यू आर गेटिंग अक्रॉस द डायोड इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट दैट्स वाई इट इज ओ If we had to solve this problem with short circuit test, what would have happened? I would have applied short circuit test. So this is 0.5 volt battery. Okay, I would consider diode to be on. So I will replace it with the battery of one volt. Then a resistance of three ohm. I am solving this problem. Okay, and resistance of five ohm. Okay, five ohm. In what direction I would have had the current? Here I am having 0.5 voltage. Here I am having 0.5 minus five one. That means minus 0.5. 5 volt that means i am having current in this direction current in this direction that means diode was this and you are having the current in this direction what is the value of current 0.5 by 8 okay so 0.5 by 8 current you are having in this direction that means diode would have been off so you would have you could have solved this problem with the short circuit test as well the result would have been the same only are you getting my point 0.5 and 1 volt battery that means the current is flowing in this direction from n to p that is not possible so diode would be off and the current would be zero only So are you getting the complete point, complete analysis here? What we are doing in short circuit test and open circuit test. So this is this is the complete summary of whatever we have studied. First we studied these models, right? In idle diode, you just need V D greater than zero. That's it. Okay. In piecewise linear model, you need V D greater than V gamma, and in constant voltage drop model as well, you need V D greater than V gamma. In ideal, you replace short circuit in uh, A constant voltage drop you replace with the battery in piecewise linear you replace with the battery and a, and a r ohm okay then you saw short circuit test turn on the transistor and see the direction of current okay in case of open circuit test turn off the in case of open circuit test first turn off the diode that means replace it with open circuit then see the potential if it is greater than the gamma v gamma potential that means if it is greater than the cut in voltage the diode will be off otherwise it will be If it is greater than cut in voltage, that means diode will be on. Otherwise, it will be off. So this is the complete summary of the complete lecture. Find out the current in this diode, diode D. Okay. So what I will do? I will apply open circuit test. You can apply short circuit test as well, but in these kind of question, I would prefer open circuit test because I can directly see the potentials. Yeah. Okay. Open circuit test. I am applying. This is my five volt. This is my two ohm. This is my three ohm. Actually, in exam, once you have good enough practice, you will not have to draw the model again and again. You will just see, okay, diode. You will consider this diode to be off in your mind. So here you are having three volt. Here you are having two volt. So three volt here, two volt here. That means it will be on. That's it. But here, if I am explaining, I will have to draw the equivalent models again and again. Right. How much potential you are having here? That is two volt. Sorry, sorry, two volt. Potential divider, bit potential divider. Let's just assume this is your V1, this is your V2. What will be your V1? V1 will be five into three upon five. That will simply be three volt. What will be your V2? V2 will be five into two upon five. That will simply be two volt. So across the diode, this is the condition. Here you are having three volt. Here you are having. Two volts. That means it will be on. And if diode is on, what is your final circuit? Now here the ID current is zero. So is the is the is that the final answer? No, this is not the final answer because this is the open circuit test. This is not the final circuit. This is your final circuit, right? This is your final circuit. What is my final circuit? Diode is on, so it will be replaced with short circuit. And you have to find the current in this branch. 
Now, if you say that uh, this will be, op uh, if this is shorted, so current will be zero, then your network analysis is very, very weak. Okay. Sometimes I have seen that these, these two are only one point. This potential is one point. This is V1. This is V2. Both are same. V1 equals to V2. So if there is no potential difference, there is no current. <laughs> okay. I have seen these things. If there is potential difference, the current will be there. If there is no potential current, so if there is no potential difference, still the current can be there. In network analysis, we have seen these things, right? Uh, just take a simple example. This is a 5 volt battery. This is a 5 ohm resistance. Okay. Tell me what is the current between these two points? What is the potential difference between these two points? 0 volt. What is the current between these two points? 1 ampere. Current between these two points is 1 ampere. What is the potential difference between these two points? Both are at the same potential. So that is 0 only. So even when there is no potential difference, current can be there. This thing we have studied in network analysis. Okay. I, I uh, recommend you, I strongly recommend you to study network analysis from me. Okay. Just see the lectures that has been already uploaded. So you can see those lectures. You will understand a lot more things. A lot more things. If you think you know network analysis, just study once from there. You will understand a lot more things. I am not saying that you don't know anything. But there are a lot more things which you might don't know. Okay. So just study from there. In transient and everything, you will get to know a lot of things. Okay. Yeah. So let's just take this potential equals to V. This potential will also be equals to V because both are same. So we can simply apply that. What we can apply? We can, uh, yeah, we can apply that super node here. We can apply super node here, right? This potential is V, this potential is V. So let me write down the equations. V minus 5 by, here I am writing, V minus 5 by 2, V minus 5 by 2 plus V by 3 plus V by 3 is equals to I, right? The current here, V minus 5 by 2, the current here, V minus, uh, v, v by 3 plus I is equals to 0 because I is also outgoing current. So, plus I is equals to 0. Plus I is equals to 0. Plus I is equals to 0. Okay, this is the equation 1 and what is, if I apply nodal here, what will happen? V minus 5 by 3, V minus 5 by 3 plus V by 2 plus V by 2 is equals to I, is equals to I. This is the incoming current, okay, is equals to I. So now this I you can replace here or what you, you could have done, you could have simply seen that this is V minus 5 by 2 and this is V by 3. So current here and current here. Sorry, current in this direction. Okay. So now this current is going, this current is going in two paths. So I current is basically addition of V minus 5 by 3 plus V minus 0 by 2. I is addition of V minus 5 by 3 plus V by 2. So simply here, writing instead, instead of writing I, you could have written this thing. Okay, so if you had studied network analysis very deeply, you you could apply the concept of super node here. Okay, so from here you can get one equation simply in one step: v minus five by two plus v by three plus v minus five by three plus v by two is equal to zero. From here, I guess I will get the value of v equals to two point five. I don't actually remember. I have to check. Okay, let me check it. Yeah, so V value we are getting is 2.5 only. Okay, so this is 2.5. So that means this potential is 2.5. So now you can find the value of I, right? So from there you can find the value of I. That value we are getting is that would be this potential is 2.5. This potential is 2.5. So here the current is 1.25, 2.5 by 2. So 1.25, 1.25 ampere. And this potential is 2.5. So the current would be 2.5 by 3. That means it would be 0 0.833. So what would be the current here? 1.25 minus 0 0.833. Basically, this will be your current. 1.25 minus 0 0.833. 1.25 minus 0 0.833. So what will be the answer?
let me bring the mobile the answer you are getting is 0 0.416 ampere okay so this is the value of i so apparently it was a problem of network analysis only only one concept of diode circuit was used that was to check if the diode is on or off now let's see this problem the same problem we have seen uh, in uh, in that short circuit test as well but here i have changed something to make it more interesting that is here i have used minus 2 volt here okay so let me copy this diagram on the next page what i will do i will simply apply short circuit test open circuit test okay i am applying open circuit test right so what i am doing i'm oh ho oh, oh. i will consider this diode to be open circuit i will also consider this diode to be open circuit right never forget what was the diode direction diode direction was like this this was like this okay and here the diode direction was like this okay yeah so here what is the potential 20 volt and here what is the potential 0 volt this potential will also go there 0 volt and what is the potential here minus 2 volt tell me what is the condition this is having at p side this diode d1 this is diode d1 right yeah for diode d1 at p side you are having 20 volt and at n side you are having 0 volt and what about diode d2 diode d2 here you are having 0 volt and here you are having minus 2 volt do you think i need to consider first diode to be on and other diode to be off uh, like this note we have written now this note this note so does this circuit lie in the category of this note tell me this circuit does this circuit lie in the category of that note here what you are having potential of p is greater than potential of n by 20 volt here your potential of p is less than potential of n by minus 20 volt so this is diode d2 this is diode d1 so apparently diode d1 is on and diode d2 is off that's it you don't need to apply anything else are you getting my point if uh, here i would have been having zero volt if here i would have been having zero volt now i can't comment if the diode is on or off so for that first i will consider this diode to be on that means i will have 20 volt here and then i will see 20 volt here and zero volt here then this diode is off are you getting my point but here what i am seeing already minus 2 volt is there so minus 2 and 0 this diode is certainly off there is nothing that can turn this diode on this diode is certainly off okay because at p side you are having more negative value and at n side you are having zero so in one in one step only you can get the final answer you don't need to do that first i will turn this on then i will check no you don't need to first turn this on then you need to check no no here also you are seeing minus 2 and 0 that means it will be off and this will certainly be on okay so what will be your final circuit your final circuit will be simply this 20 volt battery if here 0 volt was there then you can't comment because at both of the side you are having equal potential so you can't comment at that point okay so simply 20 volt battery 10 ohm resistance 10 ohm resistance what is your v naught simply here your v naught is 10 volt okay that's it got my point let's see the next question you have to apply open circuit test here now okay so now what i will do i will just simply copy this oh, no need to copy i can draw this as well 5 volt this is open circuited this is a resistance r this will also be open circuited this is 3 volt right now this is open circuited so there will be zero ampere current here so this will be zero volt this will be five volt 
this will be 0 volt this will be 3 volt in exam we will not replace this like like this open circuit short circuit because then we will forget what is the diode direction actually okay so while making this diode only in mind you will think it is open circuited in mind you will think open circuited okay so what do you see here 5 volt here and 0 volt here for diode d1 and this is diode d2 so what is the condition for diode d1 5 volt here and 0 volt here and what is the condition for diode d2 3 volt here and 0 volt here here you are having 5 volt and here you are having 3 volt now both di both diode can be on now both diode can be on okay can be i am not saying both diodes are on both diode can be on since diode d1 is having more potential since diode d1 is having more potential more potential that means more potential in forward direction more potential in forward direction and what do i mean by forward direction forward direction means from p to n since diode d1 is having more potential from p to n that means i will turn on diode d1 first i will turn on diode d1 first now my diode d1 will be turned on okay I will have to add a page. So my, my diode D1 will be turned on and diode D2 remains there as it is. That means it will be turned off only. So my diode D1 is turned on now. So here I am having 5 volt. This was my resistance R. This is open circuited here. And this is 3 volt. What is the direction? Direction is this. Now since this is short circuited, that means here I am having 3 volt and here I am having 5 volt. So what is the condition of diode D2 now? Diode D2 is having this condition now. Here you are having 3 volt and here you are having 5 volt. That means diode D2 is off. Right? Diode D2 is off. That means this will be your condition. So your V note will simply be 5 volt. Are you getting this point? V note is simply 5 volt. Go to my point. Now solve this question on your own. You have to find the value of V note. Solve this question on your own. What you will do? Can you apply short circuit test here? If you apply short circuit test here, what will happen? This will be shorted. This will be shorted. This will be shorted. So this will say I will have 10 volt. This will say I will have 5 volt. This will say I will have 3 volt. Is that possible? No. So you have to apply open circuit test okay three diodes are there let us call this one as d1 this one as t2 this one as t3 okay so let us just start open circuit test okay so diode d1 will have 10 volt if i if i am applying open circuit test open circuiting there will be no current here this resistance r will have zero drop so zero zero will come here that means zero volt zero volt here this diode d1 will have 10 volt this diode d2 will have 5 volt diode d3 will have 3 volt that means which diode will be turned on first d1 will turn on first d1 will turn on first now d1 turns on that means what will happen if D1 turns on, that means diode D1 is on now. So this potential becomes 10 volt, right? This potential becomes 10 volt. Instead of 0, this diode is on. So here I am having 10 volts now, not 0. Because this 10 volt can be dropped across the resistance R. Initially, what was the case? All was open circuited. So there is no current here in the resistance R, right? So all will be 0 volts only. And now what is the case? Diode D1 is on. So this 10 volt will come here. 10 volt will come here, 10 volt will come. That means standby R current is there. Go to my point. So now this potential V naught becomes 10 volt. So here I was having 10 volt and this is also 10 volt. For diode D2, what is the condition? This was D1, this was D2, 
this was d3 this was d1 for d2 what is the condition now here you are having 10 volt and here you are having 5 volt and for d3 what is the condition now here you are having 10 volt and here you are having 3 volt this is the condition for d3 okay so see at n you are having more potential that means o at n you are having more potential that means it is also o what is your final circuit so final circuit is d1 is on these two are off so they will not come in action so simply this is resistance r so here we i am having 10 volt so this is my v naught simply my v naught is simply my v naught is 10 volt got this point or not well and good easy question got my point what did i do first i consider all the diode to be open circuited so 10 volt here 0 volt here 10 5 volt here 0 volt here 3 volt here 0 volt here all three diodes have the capability of turning on but what do i see d1 has the most potential so first i will turn that on so if i turn on the d1 that means 10 volt will come here now 5 volt here 10 volt here d2 is off 3 volt here 10 volt here d, d, d2 is off and 3 volt here 10 volt here d3 is off so both d2 d3 is off and d1 is on okay so since d1 is on v0 will simply be 10 volt so whatever that is there at the maximum potential that turns on go to my point well and good okay yeah so this is shall we see more questions actually we are going to do an assignment on this topic okay in the next video we will do an assignment and also we will see the small signal analysis of a diode okay that is a very important point for the first 30 minutes we will see the small signal analysis of diode and for the rest one hour we will uh, we will solve some assignment problem okay so a lot of problem we will see so in the next video onwards we will see the small signal analysis of diode okay thank you